beautiful people of planet Earth, welcome back. And I have a brand new piece of software that I love to use for podcasting. What they don't tell you in podcasting is how much extra work that you have to do in order to have the show notes ready, promote it on social media, have all the relevant hashtags, keywords and YouTube descriptions, all those things that are really not as easy to do. I've got a great new piece of software that you've got to check out. It's called Swell or Swell.ai. I use it for all my podcasts, all my YouTube videos. I'm using it on this one right now that you see in the bottom in the show notes, I used Swell to create those and that's probably why you're watching this. So we're gonna uh, go right into it and I'm gonna show you my entire process of how I utilize this stuff for every one of the shows that I produce or that I'm on or that I'm guesting on. So I'm gonna go ahead and share the screen right here. And this is how it, things look when you have multiple shows, you can do different types of shows. Maybe they're shows that you've guessed it on, or maybe like myself, I have an agency, so I have multiple clients that I, I manage shows for. So that's what all of these things are. So you can make them different because each one of these projects have different information that was given to the AI to create uh, these types of information and things that you'll get. You can go in there and put the artwork you know, for that particular episode, and you can have as many as you want and color code them however you'd like. Some of these I haven't really done much in terms of branding, so it, it looks somewhat basic. But really the power of this thing, I'm gonna go in here. This is the Pipe Podcast with Chris Cruz. So right here you can set up your integrations, right? Let's just say you've got a podcast and you also do videos for the podcast. So you're gonna have all kinds of different types of files that are flying in all over the place. You'll have MP3s, you'll have MP4s probably, MOV files, artwork, like all kinds of stuff that you have. So you probably have some way of storing that stuff, not just locally, but maybe some sort of cloud service like uh, Google Drive or Dropbox or OneDrive. That's why the integration is here. So you can go back and forth with this. So you can pull in files that you have on Dropbox or when you're done with something and you want to save it on that drive, you can give the credentials for that particular cloud service and uh, integrate it there. One other cool thing is sometimes you can't find a file. You posted a YouTube video on it. You can actually go and grab the YouTube link and import a video from YouTube into Swell and it will pull all this information for you, which is super helpful. And of course, what I like to do mostly is file upload. And here's why. If you are doing a podcast, Typically, you don't start out right away with the actual content that you're gonna be using that you wanna promote, the important stuff, the headlines, all of that stuff. You're probably not doing that. So you wanna trim off like all of the intro video and all of that stuff. So I usually use an upload, but I also wanna be sure that, that these also will give you timestamps and if you're gonna use those timestamps for your YouTube video, like the timestamps you see below here, you wanna make sure that one matches the other. What you see is what you get, right? So there's nothing worse than clicking on a timestamp that says, okay, Chris, I wanna go directly to where you're tell telling me about this. And when you click that timestamp, it's going to something that you're either three minutes into the uh, conversation or you haven't even gotten to it yet and you're rambling and you lose somebody's uh, interest at that point. So be sure that if you are gonna be using timestamps that what you are in importing into Swell, it matches uh, what uh, you're using the timestamps for, in this case, YouTube. A lot of these files are from uh, this particular podcast. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit view content. You basically know how to import files. And so this is what you get right here in terms of the, and you can create your ultimate show note, you can create your perfect socials, you can create any kind of document that you want. Every time you import a file, it automatically will do that for you. It's like a, you create your own blocks in Swell for you to be able to say, okay, every time I wanna make sure I get a transcript, I wanna make sure that I get a LinkedIn post, I wanna make sure that I get timestamps, I'm gonna show you how all of this stuff works. So here is the transcript and a couple of things here, a lot of transcript services generally are the same. Just know that every single one of them, none of them are absolutely perfect. 
Sometimes somebody's going to say something and they're going to separate it into two words instead of one word. Somebody may have a certain type of accent that or may not say it clearly. It's going to take a shot at a word and it might not be right. This is a quick transcript. And so sometimes if you have something where, like in the case of my show, which is called Dealcasters, they'll take the word Dealcasters and instead of it being one word, like it is, they'll separate it into deal and casters as two separate words. So you can go in and you can edit things on the fly. You can edit who's speaking. So if this is not Crispin and it happens to be the, the guest, Dave Albin, I could switch it there for that particular timestamp. And you could also edit the speaker labels, right? So when you import a file, it's going to ask you who's the guest, who's the host. It's going to identify the different voices so you can identify who that is. And you could also do what I do is called find and replace. So if the search term in, in this case is deal casters. I want to replace it with one word, which is deal casters. And you can update all the documents and find and replace that within the transcript. Swell will do that for you. In this particular podcast, they never mentioned deal casters. At least I don't think. It's asking me to, there's a new version of the West. So this is all on web. So sometimes when they update the software, you're going to have to refresh. Uh, a lot of softwares do this. So I'm refreshing there. At any point in time, if you want a tutorial of how this uh, stuff works and you don't want to watch my video, because I don't know why. If, why wouldn't you, right? But anyway, there's a tutorial and they have a really dense library. Dense as in a good thing, like a lot of good tutorials here that you can learn how to do this stuff on Swell. And of course, you can export the SRT file or the VTT file, depending on your needs there. Or if you you just want to take the transcript and copy and uh, to your clipboard and paste it somewhere else in order to use it in that way you can certainly do that and of course the export to destination like i said you can export it to your dropbox your google drive your OneDrive, uh, your wordpress site one thing i should mention that i didn't mention earlier is you can take your zoom cloud recordings which i think is fantastic and pull that into Swell and it will do transcripts uh, based on that. One other thing that I failed to show you is that as a podcaster, you've got an RSS feed. So when you integrate your RSS feed uh, into Swell and put it right here, the Apple podcast URL, which is right here, and I say create an Apple podcast, right? And it's syncing right now. So it's basically going to the podcast on Apple and it's pulling in all of those. What it won't do is charge you yet for you to use the service. You basically, it says, here's all of the podcasts that are available uh, for you. And then you can select and say, I wanna do this one. You don't, like if you've got 400 podcast episodes or whatever on Apple, you're not gonna get charged for 400 when you do this. You're only gonna get charged for the ones that you say, hey, I want to be charged for this one. I want all this information. I'm gonna back out of this for now and go back to the content because that's really what, what I wanna be able to show you here is, so here's the transcript, and that's like the main one that you sh that you see here. But I'm going to go down here to documents, and it, there's ultimate show note. Okay, so when I click on this, I've created this, and it utilizes Chat GPT four, and it basically says here are five great titles, and I've created all of these where you can create what's called a chain prompt, right? And I've chained all of these things together. I've chained multiple different summaries. Because sometimes you might not like what they give you at first, or maybe you like some of it and you like some of another one and you just want to use uh, pieces uh, that it's given you. You could do that and create your own kind of cobbled together uh, thing. And that's what I like to do uh, with my summaries. Here are the timestamps that I mentioned. Just remember these timestamps, it's go ahead and it, and it has found what it thinks is the best sort of title. You may need to alter these a bit to make them a little bit more engaging or factual or if you want to be humorous you want to add your own voice to this it's pulling this in directly from the content i gave it so if it's the youtube video that i used i can just select these and copy or just copy to my clipboard right there and paste that into the show notes of my or, or my YouTube description and it will take these exact timestamps and they will hyperlink them in YouTube studio automatically for you. So your viewer can go, hey, I want to go right back to the board break experience right here. Oh, it's at minute 39. They're clicking that. This hyperlinks it within YouTube studio, which is a really great thing. Detailed synopsis. Now this is where it gets a little bit verbose and the longer the content you get in terms of a detailed synopsis, 
the more it might not be like your voice. So I would always suggest, even though this is a very well written, it looks like, a, I don't know, around a thousand words maybe, you might want to add your voice a little bit. And I would, I, the other thing I should make mention is you can go in and edit this yourself within this by clicking this pencil. One thing I should make mention is if you don't like any of this, you can click the regenerate button and it will find different quotes in this case, or it will do something else in terms of, I wanna regenerate these keywords. For the most part, it's a lot easier to go in and copy these and paste them as YouTube video tags or keywords that you might need for your podcast. So that's the ultimate show note. Here's another thing you could do that I think is really cool for Swell. So it's called Chat Embed. And so Chat Embed basically is if you have a website for your podcast and you should have a website for your podcast, you can basically ask the episode something. So you, it gives you the code for this particular player that says, hey, you wanna ask me something about the episode? I'm gonna answer it for you, right? And so you can also change the colors. If I want the background to be more in line with my brand, and I want, that's a pretty good looking thing. Yeah, I want that. Or if you have a specific hex code, if you're a podcaster, you have some sort of brand or whatever, colors for your logo, that kind of thing, you can use a hex code there. You can change the width and the height of the of the chat bot. It's, you can see it's changing the code as I go along. And they do have an affiliate campaign. In fact, if you are interested in picking up Swell, I've got a link down here in the show notes below for if you're interested in doing this. And I just, I think... Swell is just for podcasters, for me, you can create your own world. Like I, this is exactly what I need. The other thing too is I, I'll make mention of is perfect socials. So I uh, created, I wanted a, a Twitter thread, right? So here is, here's a thread uh, that you can create on Twitter, which is tweets that are all threaded together, right? Uh, if you understand Twitter or X, I should say. It gives you that. Again, you have the power to regenerate these things ed or edit them right from within Swell so that you can make it sound like your own voice. There are actual tweets, or I guess we're still calling them tweets on X, but there's Twitter posts here. I have it create a LinkedIn post with three key takeaways from that particular episode that you can use. Here's a Facebook post, again, with three key episodes. Here are Instagram captions that you can use. It includes hashtags that are relevant to the particular thing. Here's TikTok captions. Here's a YouTube description. And here is an email newsletter. So if you have a newsletter, you got a group of people that are on your email list and you want to announce you have a new episode, sitting down with a blank sheet of paper is never fun, right? But when you have a sheet of paper that has a framework for you to use and they, all you have to do is okay here's my subject and this you would import to your email list and then your subscriber you would add your code for it to identify the person's first name or however you do it and then add these types of things but it, here is the name of your podcast so all of these things you create and is one framework one block and then every time you release an episode you pull it in like this and all of this stuff is available to you. It is a fantastic piece of software, highly recommend it. And if you are interested in checking it out, click the link below and uh, check out swell.ai. And as always, we hope this video helps you.